In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Then the first practice, keeping the beginning and the end of the day for prayer. The second practice, control the food and the sleep, control your body. The third spiritual practice, control the thoughts and senses. These are two practices that are combined. The eye and ear, part of the expression, collects trash all day long. If the quantity of trash is a lot, when you come to pray, you can't pray. But if your eyes and ears are under control, when you come to pray, a good prayer will come forth. Do you understand what I mean? Imagine, all day, a person hears stories, stories, stories. When he comes to pray, all the stories come out in the prayer, and he cannot pray. He stays watching who goes and who comes. All these sights were stored in his head, and he cannot pray. But the person who keeps his eyes and ears under control, his senses are under control, when he speaks to God, he can speak to him. We say at the end of Psalm 51, Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. The idea from the fathers here is controlling the senses. The walls of Jerusalem are these, the eyes, the mouth, the ears. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem means barricading these three. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness. When you pray, your prayer will be sweet because there are walls. But if your defenses are down, when you come to pray, you find none. For the one whose eyes, ears, and tongue is out of control, how can God be pleased with that? Because of the saints' love for prayer, they rushed to the desert to see and hear nobody except God. Therefore, when they pray, the line of communication is open. We are not like them, but at least we strive to control our senses. The Bible says, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. All I speak and think should be acceptable to God. Because, because of this, it says, Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Imagine a person who is always having his eyes on icons or reading spiritual books or reading the Bible and his ears are hearing sermons or hymns or psalms. All day he hears these things and looks at these things. When he comes to pray, it will be very easy. Why is it very easy? Because it's the same environment. He will pray from the same words that he reads from the Holy Bible or from the sweet sermons he'd heard or the, or the beautiful stories he'd read. It all flows together naturally. Renewal of the mind. He keeps transforming. Prayer is not far from his heart. On the other hand, the person whose eye and ears are on the world excessively Prayer is far from his heart. The distance between him and prayer is big. He can't enter into God easily.